All right, so um, once you are happy with your animation, um, you're probably in this view here. So just tap space bar, tap space bar, and go to your camera view. Um, I know it's actually this camera view sucks because if I hit play, you can see it's kind of a weird angle. Uh, so I'm actually going to unlock my camera and I'm going to rotate it this way. Um, what you want to do is you want to have the camera basically as close to the model as possible while well, obviously not inter interrupting it. So, or um, cutting it off, I should say. So we'll say that's probably good. And I'll just lock that back up. Okay. So I want to render this out. Um, we're not going to do a full blown render. We're just going to do a basic render, just a play blast is what they call it. Uh, just so you have a preview of it, because that's all that really matters as far as the motion is concerned. Um, so to do that, actually, I'm going to tap space bar and we need to make some lights. OK, so uh, the easiest lights to use just to get what we need is just to use directional lights. So I'm going to go to create lights, directional light, and I'm just going to pull this up. OK, so that W move up. My R for scale, and I'm just going to rotate this guy kind of down like this. And this is one of those things where it's going to make a difference because this is where I'm going to render from. And I'm going to turn on lighting here. You can see it there. I'm also going to turn on shadows. Um, and then we will see what we have. But that doesn't look... Let me see. Okay, I guess it is doing it. All right. So... Uh, I'm going to try and get the lighting the way that I want it. So that looks fine. Um, I'm going to take this and just duplicate it. Control D or Command D, depending on, you know, what you're doing here. I'm also going to turn on this. This is ambient occlusion. And we'll turn on this, which is like higher res. Okay, so uh, this will do motion blur. You can put that on too if you want. It'll make it look a little bit nicer. So uh, this one uh, is going to be, so this is going to be my key light, this one here. This one I'm going to have be my... Can I select you? Why do you know select? That's weird. Oh, you know why? Because I turned everything off. Uh, let's go ahead and turn all this stuff back on. Okay. So this one's actually going to be my um, my fill light. So I'm just going to put this down underneath like this, but I'm going to change the brightness. So let's say 0.5. Uh, all right. And we're going to not emit specular. I'm going to go to shadows. And I'm going to turn off use ray trace shadow. So it also doesn't cast any shadows. All right. So, uh, yeah. And then we can kind of adjust it further from there. Let me see. That looks fine. Um, you could add more lights as well. Uh, I'm just going to call that fine. I'm actually going to take this and add a slight bluish tone to it. I'm going to grab this one, click on it, and make a slight yellowish tone to it. Uh, just to get a little more pizzazz. Uh, and then the last thing I want to do uh, is I'm just going to put a plane on the bottom so we can see. Uh, so I'm going to go to Poly Modeling, hit this little plane button, I'm hit R for scale. I'm just going to scale it big. And then you might need to move it up or down or whatever. Just uh, my guy's pretty much on the ground, so that's fine. Uh, let's tap space bar, and that looks okay. I'm going to turn off the grid. I don't need a little box thing. And then we should be able to preview, and yeah. Okay, so we can see our guy there and it looks okay. It's not the greatest, but it will work. Definitely can use, see it, see this right here. See, this is like hundred percent black. I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm actually going to duplicate this control D duplicate this uh, light here, move this over. And I'm going to rotate this, this direction. And we're going to change the color to a slight, let's see, we did yellow, right? We'll do like this color, a little bit less of that. And we'll do 0.4 for the brightness. And let's see, something like that, just to fill in that shadow. Let's see how that looks. All right. And let's hit play. It's kind of a weird doing the red. I should have done that one blue and the other one underneath red. I don't know. But anyway, we get something that looks like that. That's fine. All right. So, yay. Now I just want to render this out so we can see it. Okay. So what we're going to do is down here, just right click, go to play blast, right click over the timeline, uh, go to play blast, hit the option box. Um, we're going to say the view. We don't want to show ornaments. That means all these little things on the side format. Let's do quick time. So I can, oh, it's not gonna, yeah, let's do quick time and then quality do a hundred percent, uh, display size from window 
uh, we're not going to do from window. That means what it's going to do is it's actually going to look at what our window size is and do it from that. We're going to instead do it from render settings, which means it'll give us the 960 by 540. Um, scale is 0.5, which means it's actually going to do half that. That's also not what we want. We're going to put that full. Um, the, the play blast is actually not meant for final rendering. It's actually meant that while you're animating, you would render these out to make sure it looks exactly correct. Uh, we're going to turn off, uh, remove, actually, you can turn that back on. It doesn't matter. We're going to go to save file and then you have to choose a location. So I'll hit browse. Uh, it's going to movies. That's fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and do like, uh, you know, uh, play, oops, play blast. Okay. So, uh, and they'll hit play blast. And it should go through my animation and you're going to see it's going to basically do this. And then the movie should automatically pop up. Uh, good, it did. And then you can hit play, and then you can see your actual animation, and it's so exciting. All right, uh, good. And now when you're done, what I would like you to do is actually submit both the Maya project folder, as well as uh, make sure you submit this video, because this will give me a good idea of what it finally looks like, or what the final looks like, all right? Uh, but that's how you would export out what you made. All right, so good luck.